Let's have a seat right here. Okay. Hi. Meatloaf, please have a seat. Okay. And I'll grab your drinks. Okay. Oh, we are together. Oh, Look at boy. Hello. Vincent and I are together. Okay, first thing I want to know, if you don't mind, Vincent, what is your name? My name is Sarah. Sarah. Ryan. Trevor, Sheena, Brianna, Brianna Genevieve, Genevieve, her whole name, Jenna, 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 Jenna. Oh, Jenna. I'm old and deaf. Okay. Are you asking me? Yeah. Both of you. Both of you. Go ahead. Okay. I'll tell you what drew it to me. When I read the pilot and how, well, I was a huge fan of Simon Barry already. I had seen shows that he had done. He had worked on a show called uh, Continuum. And I think I stayed awake for three days watching every episode in a row. And then I found other stuff that he had done. So I was a huge fan of Simon Barry going in. When I read the pilot and I read the character of Doug, Doug in this 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 particular uh, what do they call that first season uh, spends a lot of time in jail. Okay, that's just where he is, and uh, there's reasons. But it Doug, my character, was written so well, and I come from the school of Meisner. Um, where it's on the page, it's your job to find it. I read a lot of stuff and I go, but then it's just like, I just went, yes. And if I go, how in the hell am I going to pull this off, I take it. If I go, oh, I can do that easy, I turn it down. There's only a couple of scripts written, um, so I read those, and there was a couple of standout scenes um, that, I, that I was really struck by, and so I arranged a conversation with Simon Barry, our showrunner. I wanted to make sure that, uh, that it wasn't an accident that those scenes were in there, that they were really written for the purpose that I thought they were. And, because it set a tone to the show that I really liked. And so uh, I had a few conversations with Simon about what the rest of the run would be like and stuff. And um, by the end of those conversations, I, I came on board. So I have a question about what do you personally, what are your personal favorite like, movies involving ghosts or horror movies? Oh, well, that's easy. I. On Sci-Fi, they had a show called Ghost Hunters, and Jason Hawes and Grant, and I can't remember Grant's last name, he's going to shoot me at now, uh, I was watching Ghost Wars, and I actually got the number of their office in Rhode Island, and I called them up. And I said, hi, this is Meatloaf, can I speak to Jason? And the woman on the phone went, yeah, right, and hung up, and hung up on me. Of so I called her right back. I said, no, I, I'm not kidding you. This is Meatloaf, and I want to talk to Jason, because I really want to come on this show. And they go, this is really Meatloaf? I'm going, yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. And so then Jason got on the phone, and then he said, is this really Meatloaf? And the next thing you know, I was on the show, and things were happening when I was on. I'm a, I'm a, a supernatural conduit, and things were happening on the that on the shows I was on that never happened on any other shows. And they kept wanting me to come back. You got to come back. You got to come back. I can't. I'm working. I'm working. I'm working. And then they wanted me to come back, and I was ready to come back, and they got canceled, which pissed me off. And in fact, well, I can't tell you that. I was gonna, never mind. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, you know, it's, I don't know if there's, I have a favorite ghost movie, actually. That was your question? Do I have a favorite yeah, ghost movie? Ghost I don't think I have a favorite ghost movie, no. I, I think that the whole thing about... I mean, I've, I've enjoyed movies about ghosts when I was a kid. And there are some really good films made in the 60s and 70s. And, but, you know, about, a favorite? No. How about the one with Nicole Kidman? Where you didn't, the audience didn't know she was a ghost. She thought she was in a house living with ghosts, yeah, yeah. and she turned out to be the ghost. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I thought that was pretty damn good. Yeah, um, but not I, as good as Vincent. I mean, he didn't think it was as good as I did. <laughs> I don't really have a favorite ghost movie. I, I've never entered the genre of ghosts before. I've done a lot of science fiction and a lot of crazy stuff in my career, but I never was asked to do anything like this before, and, you know, I, the aspect that I like most about films is the social part of it, you know, the, how the, how the characters get along, and, you know, the social comment of them, and the idea of having, a, our show really is basically based on a, a small town in Alaska, which has been through a lot in their history with just the, the economy and um, weather and stuff. Wait, one sec, and then and, uh, I just want to finish this one question. And then, um, and then this happens to them. This kind of thing overtakes the town, and, and they start to get pressured by these ghosts. And there's all different kinds of ghosts, and it's it. And the way it affects the town and what it does to the people is what interested me the most. And I play a, a priest in it, the only priest in town, actually, who's a Catholic priest. And the way it affects him and the people around him and his relationships. And, I mean, that's, that's what I like about films and that's what I like about television, too. Well, that's what, that's what, that's what acting is about. Acting is about relationships. It's about not about what you say, it's about reacting and the relationships to the people. And That's Vincent right. knows. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. We have to move now? No, I think Oh. I didn't get to tell you about Doug. <laughs> Oh, I will quick. Doug is the only person in town that's not afraid of the ghost. In fact, he doesn't believe in him until the last, just the episode I just shot. And I made everybody on the set cry.